Now we'll talk about political correctness because that's even creepier than health and safety regulations. There's a small form of oppression by stealth of the industrialised nations. You understand? It's creepier, weirder, because they're trying to make it an offence to offend people. This is basically intellectual colonialism and psychological fascism for the creation of thought crime. <laughs> Welcome to the comedy show. Now, <laughs> fucking is trying to make it an offence to offend people. You could actually be fucking charged by offending someone. An offence to offend, bring the rule of law into the realm of the subjective. What the fuck is that? Beautiful. Self-policing. Don't say that. Don't say it. Shh, shh, shh. Why, oh, it's against the law. I offend someone. People say it all the time. What if you don't say that on stage anymore, Steve? What if someone gets offended? Well, that's okay. I only do gigs to adults. And, and they have free will and, uh, you know, their own intellect and their own fucking moral code. And they can simply stand up and go, I do not like that skinny, hairy, big nose fuckwit. <laughs> and I'm going to go home and get on with me fucking life. And that's all that fucking happens. Really, that's all that fucking happens. It's not like anyone goes, I went to the comedy show and the comedian said something about the Lord. <sighs> and I was offended. And when I woke up in the morning, I had cancer. This is not fucking happening. Oh, the children, what about the children? Well, they're not fucking here either. And there was a song for the children as well. Besides the road song, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Which is a song we all got that may build you some fucking character within your soul so you can deal with what will inevitably happen to you when you go out onto the fucking earth. That's the fucking song. What's wrong with the song? He called me a dickhead, Dad. Fuck him. He's a cunt. That's the point of that fucking song. <laughs> That's what the song's for. What you, what's wrong with it? You're not a dickhead, you understand? He's a cunt. Now, maybe you were a dickhead. Were you a dickhead? Because if you were a dickhead, then go and fucking apologise to him. If not, fucking, don't worry about him. He's a cunt. You're not a dickhead. You all right? Yeah, now get up the ladder. Fucking children. The children, they'll be all right. They're not fucking here. And I don't go down the local kindergarten either, handing out business cards, you know. <laughs> Come and see the convict wizard talk about the apocalypse. I don't fucking do that. So. <laughs> For a couple of reasons. One, I haven't got any business cards. And uh, <laughs> two, I'd never do a gig for children because I'd be petrified because they're fucking honest. <laughs> and I don't want to stand on stage with the game. We didn't think you're funny. Your nose is big. You smell like poo. Shut up! <laughs> the irony being, I'd probably get offended and have to leave. So, so. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Now, rights will be used as a weapon against you. This is not a conspiracy. It's an understanding of the nature of the planet you're on. Any kind of social experiment will be looked upon by the ruling class as how it could be used as a weapon. Whether or not they do it or not is fucking debatable, but they will be looked at. Now, rights will be used as a weapon. How? Giving them to children. There's a fucking weapon. What do you mean? Children have rights? Well, yes and no. They don't fuck, stop giving them rights about everything. They're children. They don't need to be brought into the adult fucking world so fucking quickly. They're supposed to be poking dog shit with sticks. You understand? <laughs> Supposed to be pulling the legs off lizards and running around throwing bottles and shit, right? You understand? <laughs> Not worrying about what kind of fucking rights they have, right? They're supposed to be going, look at that stinks, fuck, that's what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Stop bringing them into our fucking world. And they don't have the same rights as me because they're not fucking, they don't have the same responsibilities. They're allowed to piss in the street, I'm not. <laughs> You get more rights when you get more responsibilities. They can piss in the street. If you saw some little five-year-old at the tree with his fucking willy, oh, isn't he a cute little thing? Yeah, yeah. It may use me cock out in King Street tonight. No one's going to be fucking. Isn't he lovely? Look at him. He's fucking. They're going to ring in the cops. There's some fucking mutant pissing in the street. There's that one. <laughs> now this is the creepiest shit. They have now given children in Europe the right to override their parents' decision. If a doctor prescribes Ritalin or Prozac or Xanax or one of these other fucking soul-destroying drugs that they're now giving children for the crime against humanity that it is, apparently for these diseases that don't exist. Now, if they want to stick a two-year-old on a, you know, Prozac because it's depressed. Because I remember my black depression at two. And <laughs> Put the blankets on the window, just fuck. <laughs> reading fucking Nietzsche. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> so they want to give children right that if the parent then says, no, you're not giving my child these pharmaceutical psychotropic drugs, right? The child has the right to override the parent's decision for its own apparent well-being. 
that the parent doesn't have any fucking claim for the child's fucking well-being because, you know, it has rights to have Xanax it too if it wishes. <laughs> uh, that's not fucking creepy, is it? Hey. Giving children these kind of drugs, are you fucking insane? Well, you know, Steve, you know, they've got diseases. And, uh, you know, they're not interested in school, aren't they? Fuck, amazing. <laughs> well, well, fuck, what'd you teach them about today? Ooh, erosion. <laughs> right, what's that? Well, you got some dirt. <laughs> you get some water. And uh, it goes across the dirt. And, uh, so, some of the dirt washes away. Yeah, you know, how come you're not interested? <laughs> well, you know, I'm six. <laughs> and I've just pissed myself and want to ride me bike. But to tell you the truth, that's over the fuck. Fucking give children these drugs, are you off the fucking tree? If anyone suggests you give your children these drugs, what you do is you say, fuck off, you cunt. <laughs> you understand? Straight as that. I've been telling the people of Europe this is an ancient Australian proverb. Right? <laughs> now. Yeah, and what it lacks in sophistication and depth, I think you'll find it makes up for wholeheartedly with a delightful clarity, don't you think? <laughs> and some drugs for your toddler. Fuck off, you cunt. <laughs> Come on, son, get up the ladder. Give us one of your smokes. Thank you. <laughs>